Here's how you can make this Mr. Beast glowing effect in DaVinci Resolve. First, if you don't have any PNG, then you can copy this image and then use a ellipse mask and then mask it away. Then connect the image you just masked with the media one and it will create a merge node. Then add a glow node after the image you just masked and use this glow slider to control the glowness. Once you are happy with the glowness, then add a merge node before this merge node which has our glow image. And then take the output of the image we just masked and connect it with this merge node. Now we can start animating the glow. So first go to the beginning of the frame, then select the merge node which has the glow and then in blend take it all the way to zero and add a keyframe. Then move few frame forward and take the blending to one, making it completely visible. And then you can press Ctrl A to select all the keyframes and press S to smooth it out. Then again Ctrl A to select all the keyframes and Ctrl C to copy it. Then move forward click on the spline then Ctrl V to paste the keyframes. Let's do it one more time. Ctrl V then you can adjust all the keyframes by selecting all the keyframes and holding the shift key to lock them in one axis and then move them. Once you have all the keyframes pretty much in the equal spacing then you can select all the keyframes in the middle leaving the first two and the last one then click on this button. It will create a box around those keyframes which will help you to adjust the keyframes more easily. So now select the top of that box and decrease the size and also bottom decrease the size so the fading in the middle doesn't go all the way up and down and that's it here's your final result now if you are wondering we can achieve the same thing by using the glow slider instead of the blend slider in the merge node then yes you're right but there's a problem let me show you here's the same animation using the glow and opacity you can notice the glow one is not lighting up completely and it's very quickly fading out that's because if you use the glow slider and increase the glowness you will notice it's making the brighter part more brighter and the darker part less brighter and while animation it does the same thing but on the other hand if you animate the opacity it fades in and fades out all the part equally that's why it feels more balanced but the glow one is also useful if you you're using it on something like a street lamp so it depends on your personal preference and also what are you using it on one last thing if you want to know how to make this shine effect you can check out this video